Windows updates. We all hate them. We don't know why they're always happening and why are they always rebooting my workstation while I'm in the middle of something or in the next morning I come back and my workstation laptop has been rebooted. Well, in this video, let's talk about how to disable, how to stop those pesky automatic updates on Windows 10. Windows 10 specifically, uh, this is how I did it. Why did I do this? A couple years ago, started GPU mining, just started using more laptops over, say, Linux boxes and that. And I have my work all set up, even programming work, engineering work, and even rigs running with Windows 10. Come back the next morning, why is my rig, why is my laptop, why, why has it been rebooted? What happened here? Oh my God. And I found out it was the Automagic Windows update came in, forced the update, and then caused a uh, Automagic reboot of my server my workstation my laptop thus basically interrupting my work progress and i have to restart everything reset up everything and in worst case the update that may have pushed on you may have basically ruined your settings you had working in your environment if you're doing a development environment if you're doing crypto mining you may find for example with uh say gpu specifically they reinstalled some of their own version of the NVIDIA GPU drivers and thus causing your display adapters on your Windows machine to basically not work. Uh, it's just not the display adapter you set when you configured your system. You basically took all the time to customize your system, fine tune it, tweak it, and then bam, these fools at Windows force this update on you that you don't want and uh, basically destroys your environment and it costs time. Time is just something you do not get back. Time is the most precious commodity you have. So here you go, you're gonna spend a whole day trying to un-F what they did to you. Uh, there should be an un-F button. And when I was working on a contract, we specifically put a un-F button on one of the applications we made because the system would maybe get into a funky state after running a while and you just hit this big red button that says boom, on F the system, that's what Windows needs, but they won't do that. So how do, we, how do we block these people? You almost have to run defense on these products you buy. You get it, you set it up. I want it to stay this way. Please don't mess with me anymore, leave me alone. It's like with the government, just leave me alone, right? Microsoft, leave me alone. I gave you my money, now leave me alone. So how do we do this? Well, there is a thing on your Windows box uh, called GP Edit. What is GP Edit? All right, that is your basic window registry type local group policy editor. It is called gpedit.msc. Uh, what you can do is go over to your search bar right here and you can type in GPE. Oops, if you could type dot msc, and this should be right here. If you do not have it, let's address that first. If you don't have this on your system, uh, you will need to go install it. I think Microsoft has caught wind about people knowing how to go into their local group policy editor and disabling stuff and configuring stuff to their liking. You paid for this product. You should be able to do whatever you want with it. But no, nope, no, nope, no. Nope. They don't want you to have the keys to the uh, to behind the back door, man, just to see how the uh, how the operation works, how to see how the sausage is made, right? So what you need to do, if you do not have this gpedit.msc on your uh, Windows 10 box or your Windows box in general, you, you can go download an app which will enable the gpedit.msc uh, group policy editor. So basically what I would do, I'm not going to show you where it's at. You guys, this is on you guys to do this part. Uh, I can show you how to fish. I'm not going to do everything for you. So basically it's Google. Uh, enable gpedit.msc group policy in Windows 10 Home. So you want that one for, this is Windows 10. I'm sure it works uh, in Windows 11 as well. So you want to Google the uh, gpedit.msc enabler for Windows 10, and you want to download that zip file. And this is at your own risk. Verify you're getting the right zip file. Verify you're on the right site. This is on you. 
not financial advice, right? You know what I mean? Go figure it out for yourself. You got to get the GP edit if you don't have it. All right. That is the disclaimer. So you got to get that. Once you get that, you should see gpedit.msc pop up when you type it down here in your start bar right here. Uh, odds are you do have it already, but again, they have taken it out because they don't want you mucking around with the system because power is dangerous. Information is dangerous to them. Uh, that's the way I look at it. They don't want you screwing with their products, even though you paid for it. So what do you do? All right, once you get over the GP edit hurdle and have it on your system or find it, boom, just click on it. Bring up the editor. There it is. It's called the local group policy editor. And I'm going to try to make this larger. Oh, I want to show you this first. So I did download the GP edit enabler. That's what it's called. When you do download it, this is what I use. It's a Windows batch file coming from a zip file. Make sure you get the right one. That's on you. Like I said, go figure it out. Go find the right one and you are good to go. All right, let's go back to this. Did I make this? All right, let's do this. Let's make sure I can see that on the screen. Yes, you guys can see that. Let's go back here. So what I did, I launched the local group policy editor and all these sash bars you can slide if you can get it right on the sash. There we go. So what you want to do, you're going to basically go into a settings. This is a system settings uh, editor that controls the magic behind Windows, some of the comp files, config files, some of the settings files. <clears throat> basically what you want to go into and then muck with system stuff, right? Uh, yeah, so let's go in. So what you want to go to is uh, basically in the local group policy editor, this are policies that permanently disable automatic updates or change the update settings to choose when patches should be installed on the device. So that's what we're going to do. We are going to disable, disable Windows 10 updates. And there's options you can do with this as well. So how do you do this? All right, we did that. We went to the start thing. We searched for the gpedit.msc and then we got the local policy editor to come up. Local group policy editor. So we go now into the navigation part over here and we're going to go to computer configuration, which is right here. Boom. Click on that. Next is administrative templates. Go down there. I wonder if I can click here. Oh, I can do that. Administrative templates. You can do it over here or you can do it over here, right? So computer configuration, expand it, administrative templates expand it or you can do it over here either or whatever is easiest for you uh so we go into administrative templates now we go to windows components i'm just doing it over here. i'm used to doing it on the left from the tree all right we do windows components now we look for windows update let's see if i did the right thing here windows update there it is right here right at the bottom boom click on Windows Update. All right, now you go over to the right. You got all the settings for Windows Update. Look at all this crap, man. You wonder why this stuff is buggy. There's just so much crap out there. It's just evolved over years and years and years and years. Multiple different engineers, multiple different crappy managers. Uh, yeah, and this is what you get. Uh, let's see. Now we're going to go over here and we're going to look for Configure Automatic Updates. And there you go, right there. Configure automatic updates. And they give you a little history right here, FYI notes. Nobody ever reads that, right? But you should. All right, let's go over here. And then we're going to double click. Let me make sure I'm all set up here. Double click on this. You want to double click. And look what you get. You get a configuration automatic update uh, dialog box. Configure automatic updates. And I call it auto magic because most of the time it's magic. You wonder how in the heck it even works. All right. So when you come into this, sort of self explanatory, you can see I have not configured it. Right. So it's just going to update whenever. Because I've been having this lately. The damn systems update. I'm running CPU mining right now. I come in, man, my CPU rigs have been down for eight hours. I didn't know that because the freaking update went through. Installed the update. Rebooted the machine and everything's back up to bare bones. I, ah, I got to restart everything, reconfigure everything. It's just dumb. So time can cost you money, blah, blah, blah. So we go in here. I have it not configured. If you want to uh, disable it completely, just go in, click disabled. Boom. Right. 
and then you click the apply button. Boom. And then you can just OK out of it. All right. So you can see now disabled. So after you complete the steps, uh, Windows 10 will stop downloading the auto, <laughs> will stop downloading updates automatically. But you're thinking, well, wait a minute. I really maybe want some updates. How do I know there's updates? You can still do the updates manually. Uh, you basically can go to settings, update security, Windows update, and click check for updates. So let's, I don't know, let's try that. I mean, we're here. So let's just, I'm just going to type, when, uh, let's see if this works. Settings. Go to settings. And let's look for update and security and Windows update. Boom. And then you can say check for updates. This PC currently doesn't meet the system requirements to run Windows 11. That's fine. I don't want Windows 11. I want Windows 10 because I know it works. I'm good, to, I'm good to go with that. You can check your uh, update history. And uh, what you can do here, typically on your system, you will see check for updates. So if you want to be a manual person about it, you go in here and check for the updates. That's fine. There's how you do it. Big deal, right? I'm happy with my system running as is, and I'm going to keep it that way. I'm going to close this so I have it disabled. There are other options that you can do. You can actually um, limit the Windows 10 updates as well. So let's go back into this thing, and there's some options you can do. And instead of completely disabling it, and uh, in lieu of also then going into the checking manually, which you won't ever do, and why would you? So go in here. Configure automatic updates again. Click the enabled. On the enabled, now look at this, guys. You get some option. By default, it is auto download and notify for install. I wonder why that is. And you can, uh, when you click and expand this pull down list, you get notify for download and auto install. Then you get three auto download and notify for install, auto download and schedule the install, allow local admin to choose setting, okay, auto download, notify to install, notify to restart. Yeah, so there are your options. Uh, let's see, I'd say the best option to disable automatic updates is, what do you guys think it is? What's the best option? All right, I'll give you five seconds to let me know in the comments below what you think the uh, best option is. Ready? Go. All right. If you picked, what'd you pick? What'd you pick? What'd you put in the comments? What's the best option? Which number? And you have to type it out too. Help the algorithm. Number two. Yay. If you pick number two, you move to the head of the class. Notify for download and auto install so once you do that you will then get a message pop up hey there's a new download crypto gem do you want to download it and auto install install it you can do that as well and that way you'll know there is a new uh installation out there a new update not install yeah a new auto update or an update for you to download and install on your lovely little Windows 10 box. So that's how you do it. That may be the best eh, compromise. That way you're getting a notification. You can say, okay, I'm ready to download and then do the auto install when, it, at, when it's at your convenience, if at, at all you want to do that. <clears throat> For me, I do not want to do that. I'm happy with the way the systems are running. I'm not messing with them. And I had to go in here again and disable one of them. It's like, why is my rig down? What the heck? It took me like an hour to change some stuff, get it up and running, and boom, coming in. You have just got an update. And now I find my display adapters are all messed up. I have to uninstall my adapters and reinstall my NVIDIA adapter. And that, you know, about an hour later, you're all back up and running. It's just stupid. So anyway, disable them. Completely, completely disable Windows 10 updates if you want. Uh, 
or you can do it like this way. Number two option, if you put that in the comments, that would help. Uh, and then people can just go and say number two enabled is probably the best compromise where you just get a notification and you can go downloading it. And that is all there is to it. It's just, you gotta take this bull by the horn on this Windows stuff and uh, control it. Don't let it mess with your system. Man, especially if you're doing development too or working on stuff, even graphic setting, or you're doing stuff on your computer and these fools push an update out, by default, it's gonna automatic, automatically update your system and restart it sometimes, you know? And you're like, I just lost my work or I lost where I was at, had everything all laid out. It's just basically, it's your box, you control it. That's what I'm trying to say. You tell it when you want the updates, if and at all you want any of that crap. All right, that's all I got. There are other ways to do this. You can actually go into the Windows registry. I'm not gonna show you that because that's dangerous stuff. People get in there and muck up the registry and it's over, Johnny, and you don't remember what you did and yeah, that's on you. you know, that's like downloading some of the stuff. That's on you to download the correct stuff to get to this. I mean, you can figure it out. But uh, this is how you do it once you get into GP Edit set the uh, local group policy on the automatic updates and uh, take control of your system. All right, guys, go forth. Keep crushing it. I don't know what that means, but keep having fun with your Windows stuff. Keep learning. Uh, yeah, they're always throwing stuff at you. All right, go forth. Keep running.